Hey everyone, if you watched this video right here, the ultimate setup for your Fire TV stick, in today's video, I'm actually going to do the setup for you. So I'm gonna take a TV, I'm gonna show you how I have it all plugged in, I'm gonna show you how it works, guys, in today's video, but I'm gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna add one extra device to make it an insane Fire TV stick, like nothing you've ever seen. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Let's go to the TV right now. All right, I got you up here in one of our guest rooms now. We have this full insane setup set up on this TV right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the storage on this Fire TV stick, but then I'm also going to flip the TV around and show you how we have it set up. You're gonna to wanna to know this. I had a lot of people that have commented that they got the products and they just don't know how to set it up. So that's what I'm gonna share with you today. So without wasting any time, let me quickly show you that this Fire TV stick does have two terabytes. I know that sounds crazy, but check this out. You go down to My Fire TV, you go to USB drive, two terabytes. There's 1.97 terabytes available. It's an easy setup, especially if you have the 4K Max Fire Stick. Now you can do this with the older Fire TV sticks as well. And I have other videos on the process that I went through to make that happen. It does take third-party apps and a little bit more work. Right now, the 4K Max is on sale. I'll put links in the description to the sale price. I think it's like $34 in the United States. I don't know about other countries, but in the U.S., it's 34 bucks for that, guys. So I'm gonna share with you in this video right now how I was able to accomplish two terabytes, what equipment I used. I'm gonna flip the TV around, show you how I have it set up, all of that in today's video. Let's go. All right, everyone, so I've got you here on the back side of the TV just to make it a little bit easier for your setup. I know a lot of people got those powered cords to be able to get rid of your power cord and add external hard drives of larger size to your Fire TV stick. So I'm gonna show you how I have my, all of mine set up here at my home. So I'm in one of my guest rooms again, and this is the backside of one of my TVs. I've got a 4K Max. It does, this does work, this whole process works with older Fire Sticks, but these are on sale for $34 and it makes it a whole lot easier. You don't need extra programs. You don't need to do any kind of formatting. It does it all for you, okay? So the 4K Max is highly recommended. Again, I think they're 30 bucks in the US right now. They're on sale. So what do you need to make this happen? Well, you're gonna need an OTG adapter. First and foremost, no matter what, you're gonna need one. There's two different kinds you can get. You can either get a little L1 like this, just a little guy, or you can get a cord like this. Now, if you use thumb drives, you gotta use this one because a lot of them are too thick to use this because of spacing. But if you use a two terabyte hard drive, like the one that I'm using here, you could actually use this little guy, which is what I'm gonna do in today's video, just makes less cords. There's already a ton of cords, you don't need any more. So how I have mine set up is you're gonna, again, remove the power cord and you're gonna plug this right in. So it plugs right into your Fire TV stick. And this is it, guys, this isn't much so far. Well, there's gonna be some more things you're gonna add. So what you're going to do is you're going to add the power adapter. This is the mission powered USB uh, cord and what this does is it eliminates the need for your power cord and also gives you a little bit of a boost so that you can use your your USB on your TV and a larger hard drive. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Now this is going to be plugged directly into the power section on your OTG adapter. So you had power that's going straight through and there's your USB port that you have now added. Now this is a USB that's going to go into the USB on the TV. So the first thing you're gonna do is just do this. Really simple, your adapter, your power, your power cord, your fire stick, let's plug them into the TV really quick. That's the first step. You are not going to put your drive in or anything in yet. This is very important for the setup process, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. All right, now it's plugged in, and what you essentially have is this right here. So you've got a power adapter cord right here, then you have the OTG adapter, and you've got your Fire TV stick. Now you could get little Velcro things, Velcro it to the back of your TV if you want. A lot of people do that, and it's a great idea, because no, then nothing's dangling. But it doesn't dangle too bad. It's just a little clumpy, but you know what? There's no power cords coming out or anything, which is cool, so it's completely hidden behind your TV. Now what you're going to do to make this work with any external drive is you're gonna turn your TV on. You're gonna wait for Fire TV Stick to completely load up. Now, once it has completely loaded up, and I mean like everything is loaded, you gotta wait a few seconds. Then what you're going to do is just plug in your two terabyte hard drive or any hard drive that you want. Um, this is the one I use right here. It's a slim drive. I'll put links to this one in the description section of this video because you know it works. You saw it work here. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it directly in to that one USB port on the back of 
your TV. So now essentially what we have is we've got this setup. Okay, again, you could do Velcro if you want and it would completely be hidden. You got your power cord, your OTG adapter connected to the hard drive and your Fire TV stick connected to your TV. Now you have a two terabyte hard drive just like that. Well, this is the video that I kind of shared with you recently, uh, just a couple days ago on this channel on the Ultimate Fire TV Stick setup. I didn't show you how to do it, but I told you what you needed and a lot of people got it and purchased the items that they needed and they're setting it up. But a lot of people have asked me, how do you add an ethernet adapter so that you could hardwire your Fire TV Stick? Well, now it's not gonna be completely wireless because you're gonna have your router there and you're gonna plug it in, you have a cord going to it but it does provide a much more stable signal to your Fire Stick, so your streaming experience will be that much better. So the one item that you're going to need is a USB hub. Now this is the one I use here. There's a bunch of them out there on Amazon. I'll put links to this one and other ones that I've used on Amazon in case this one's sold out. But basically what this is going to do, it's going to give you three USBs instead of just the one and it's going to give you an ethernet port so again that is a cord that comes from your router right into here and then right into your fire stick and so it just looks like this it looks like one of those old phone cords if you're not familiar and you're just going to plug it right in just like that now this is an option it's not required but if you do want a stable signal you can do that with this setup so it is possible to do this extra added setup and again i will put links to hubs that work there's a few of them that work um, some of them you could actually do, um, if you don't want to do this setup with the powered cord, you want to use your wall outlet, there's one that already has a splitter on it, so that's possible. But for, for this setup here, you will need just a regular USB hub and a Cat7 cord like this one here. And all you need to do, check this out, all you have to do is unplug the hard drive from that USB port, okay? Then you're going to plug this in where you had that hard drive plugged in. Now you've got this setup. You've got your powered cord, your OTG adapter connected to your USB hub with your Fire TV stick. This seems like a lot, guys, but I promise you it's really not. It's pretty simple. Then what you're going to do once you have this setup, you're just going to plug this into one of the USB ports, and it doesn't matter which one. Now you have two extras for an external mouse, external keyboard. If you want to put one of those upgraded gyro pad remotes onto this, you can plug it right into there. Now you've got the most insane Fire TV stick. You have a hardwired for stable signal, two terabyte Fire TV stick. You're never gonna run out of storage, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. If you want to see the software setup where I went in and actually formatted the hard drive, it prompts you if you did it the way I shared here to format it. Just make sure that you do it as device storage, not as external storage. If you wanna watch the full setup for this, with TV, TV Mate and all that, make sure you join Patreon. I'll have links in the description section of this video where you can get to that. If you're new to my channel, make sure you do subscribe. And I really appreciate you guys checking this out today. Hopefully this helped you out. Looks like a lot, but it's really a pretty amazing setup for your Fire TV stick. It just takes it to the next level. And the best part about it is all of this stuff is under 100 bucks. You're getting the cords, the hub, the OTG adapter, and a hard drive for under 100 bucks. Can't beat that. Hope you enjoyed the video.